Hey all, John here. In this video, I'm just gonna be talking about the Unify Express. This device is an all-in-one device that has a Wi-Fi 6 access point, a switch, firewall, and controller on board. So this device is something you would plug in, and then of course you have instant Wi-Fi and LAN access ready to go. I'm gonna be hooking this up to a unmanaged switch just so they have more ports than just the one that's on board. And then we'll be using the SiteMagic VPN just so they can tunnel back to me and use my file server that I use for my wedding photography. Right now, the, the, resisting route, the resisting route of the Nighthawk is connected to a single uh, two and a half inch external hard drive. This hard drive is a risk for me because again, if that drive fails, they have no backups that are outside of their house. I'd rather have them copy everything to my server. And of course, with that file server, it snapshots and duplicates everything across the RAID array. So they don't have to worry about losing any type of data. So stay tuned and I'm gonna go through the unboxing and show you how to set up Site Magic, and we'll go from there. All right, so let's get this unboxed. Okay. Got the Express right here. Let's see if I can get this off the first time. Power cable, and of course we have a power cable in here as well, so not bad. Alrighty, so don't judge me, but I'm going to hook this up into my existing switch and we're going to set it up at home. So I'm going to plug this into port 7, there we go, and then we're going to plug it into the WAN right there. And then we're going to connect our MacBook over to the LAN port right here. So we're going to get that cable. And we're going to get this set up. I don't really want to use the mobile app unless I have to. So let's have to get that set up that way. LAN port right there. And since this, not, this doesn't take PoE in, we got to plug in the SBC port. Uh, let's plug it in that way. Shoot into the wall, and there she is. Should be lighting up in the front. Too close to focus. There we go. Cool beans, now we just gotta wait. All right, so now we are going to turn off Wi-Fi here, and we're going to use basically a wired connection and see what we can do. So let's see, okay, and let's make sure all of these settings are back to where they should be. I'll remove all this stuff. This is from my NAS, um, and we are on the correct settings here. Okay, so it looks like we have a 1.1 address. I'm going to make a new connection here. Alright, put an S on there, it's probably going to redirect. Alright. And here we go. All right, let's set up the Unify Express. Leave the default name, we can always change that later. I'm gonna create an account here that I already have. Let's get that signed in.
No backups, of course. All right. So now we just have to wait for that access point to go online and then we'll see all of our magic settings. All right, so system is online. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm going to set up another admin account here. Um, I'm just going to set that up, super admin, obviously, and that's just going to have local access. So that's created. Perfect. Uh, let's see. There, of course, there are no adaptive devices. Console settings, that all looks good. Remote access is on, just so I can access, from, access it from my Unify account. Um, SSH should be off, because I'm not really doing anything crazy there. Um, let's see what we got. Um, update that. Let's get that started here. All right, so now we're just finishing up the update of the network application. Again, the Unify Express, all I can run is the, Unif the Unify network application from what I know. It can't run Unify Protect, Unify Talk, Unify Access or anything like that. This is for something you'd use as a mesh or for a very small deployment. For me, again, this is going to my parents' house. There is not much going on there. It's just going to be replacing an existing Nighthawk router that is there. And then um, just allowing me to basically use SiteMagic to connect my network to theirs. Um, SiteMagic is basically using open, uh, not OpenVPN, WireGuard as the backhaul. Um, this will just allow you to basically transfer, let's say, um, how do you call it, merge networks. So I can basically transfer stuff from my network to theirs and it'll look like it's just one flat network. Um, of course, people will be on different subnets, but Unify, that's why it's called Site Magic, will be fixing all of that so I don't have to manually map it. Um, so now we just gotta wait for that to start and then we should be good to go. I can show you what my Unify dashboard looks like. So they're going to be getting the same dashboard. They'll be able to see their traffic, but I don't think they'll be able to do any blocking because this does not have the horsepower to do it. So just think of this as, again, a much smaller dream machine that is limited, but also has an AP built in. Of course, you'll need your own switch because let's be honest, most people have more than just one device to connect, um, but that's no problem because we already have a Unify light switch they'll be using, but they'll get the same beautiful dashboard that I have. Um, let's see if you, this is done and looks like it is. So let's get this open here and get things rolling. Um, as you can see, it's loading up for the first time. Same UI, of course, there's no devices connected, but Again, it's a miniature, miniaturized version of the Dream Machine, but again, it only runs the unified network app and it has its own built-in access point. Um, I should be getting an, the access point broadcasting. Yep, there it is right there. It's broadcasting. Of course, I'm not connected to it yet, um, but everything looks good. Um, and of course we have the Unify site to site. So I'm going to be doing this through my Unify portal uh, after I drop this off. Um, but of course, um, I'm just going to show you the differences in um, our security settings. I mean, Unify is not really known for their uh, IDPS, or RPS, IDS technology. Um, but just so you can see the difference, there are a lot of things missing. But again, for them, this would be more than enough. So no worries there. All your basic port forwarding, your your basic firewall rules, I think you can do on here. Yep, there we go. So those exist. So basically the, the, the stuff that the average home user would need to let's say for port forward some IP security cameras that that is still here. So uh, really no worries for me. Again, since this, this is not going to an enterprise environment, so we're basically good to go. All right, so we are basically set up. Um, I will be setting up the Unify, uh, let's go back into, this, into the site manager. We'll be setting up the site magic through here. Um, but of course, there's no IP address since I'm set up behind a uh, 
another firewall or a NAT. So I'll have to drop this off at their house. And as soon as I do that, then I can enable site magic and we will be good to go. Um, nothing else to really set up here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this was pretty short, um, but stay tuned for the next one.